All right, happy Monday. Starting off the week with a great game, Streets of Rage on the Sega Genesis via Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection on the Xbox 360. It's also available on PS3. If you're a youngster wanting to get into retro gaming and you have this or a PS3, pick up this compilation. Like 70% of the games on this are good. And start off with the original Streets of Rage. The holidays are coming up, so Christmas break is coming up. If you got a brother, sister, cousins, play this during the holidays. Start on Streets of Rage 1 and work your way up to 3. Very simple story. The government is corrupt. All right, let's look at the character. This is Adam Hunter, male, 23, ex-cop, bonsai boxing. Bonsai is those little plants. Ability boxing. Ex-cop, Lombada, ability G. What the hell is Lombada? If you know what Lombada is, tell me. Hobby video games for Axel. Axel Stone. What a name. Blaze Fielding and Axel Stone. But yeah, uh, the government's corrupt. The criminals have taken over. The cops are bought out. So you guys all quit. You're gonna clean up the streets. The streets of rage. You're gonna clean it up. So here we go. Yeah, get this game. If you want to get into retro, this is, this is all you need right here. Very cheap, too. And like 70% good games on this collection. Maybe 60, but they're all worth it. Here we go. So everyone plays uh, pretty similar. Uh, similar abilities, uh, Adam here, power A, jump A, speed B, Axel power A, jump B, speed A, so he jumps lower, he jumps higher, but a little slower, uh, Blaze is the weakest, but she jumps the highest, and uh, she's the fastest, go with Blaze here, and she's kicking ass in a mini skirt, how could you not choose her, music, this is 1991, this music was different for its time, I think Blades is going to go clubbing after she kicks some ass here. Okay, so you got to jump, attack, back attack. Let's try to back attack right there. I, I don't like the back attack. I never, I rarely use it. But it's there. So, got some combos there. And then, uh, this music's great. So, Suplex City. Uh, Blaze Fielding, the mayor of Suplex City. I, I like using the Suplex in this game. It's very powerful. It looks cool. Now look at this. Dump him on his skull. I like that. So he can also knee and then Suplex. Oh, he, he saved his friend there. So he's getting punished for that. So he can do punishing combos. So that, that, I mean, let's see. One Suplex should take him out. Uh, there's one knee. Okay, let's, let's see if one, one suplex will take him out. Is he, that already killed him. He, he's dead. He, he murdered him, man. So, there, that's damaging right there. So, you could start off. Apple here. So, you could start off just punching on him. Then you grab him. Then you knee him. So, you all kinds of devastating combos. You got weapons here. Break a bottle over his head. Then you start stabbing him with the bottle. Right. This game's hard too. So uh, you want to play this with a brother, sister, cousin, friend. This game is even better playing with someone. You got pipe here. Uh, swing like a baseball bat. Yeah, this game. Uh, Altered Beast was not a very good game. Golden Axe was pretty good. Okay, see this S here. You got one of those. So. You get one per level, if you're good enough to not die in the level, you got one per level, or one per life, if you die you get another one. I'll go ahead and use it right now. So, where is it? there it is. So yeah, there's, there's still some good cops on your side, so he just uh, fires napalm into the street, and you're immune to it, must be the miniskirt, take him out. So that clears the screen, but you want to save that for the boss. So uh, you, you want to look for your uh, food power-ups. Uh, Apple in the phone booth is always good. But yeah, this is um, 
I'll say uh, Golden Axe was a, a, a good game. I gave it, I give it like an 8, 8.2, something like that. Altered Beast is like a 7.3 to me. Oh, this game 9.1. This game's really good. Altered Beast was just like a, a technical showcase of what the Genesis could do. Golden Axe, kind of the same thing, but a better game than uh, Altered Beast. Oh, this game's really good. This is when uh, uh, Sega started to show that it was uh, what it could do over the regular Nintendo. No Super Nintendo yet. And uh, Super Nintendo could only dis or regular Nintendo, if you play like Double Dragon 2, which I love, I love Double Dragon 2, but there's only like two bad guys on screen at once. Right now we got a crowd of four here. And this is just the beginning of the series. I mean, Streets of Rage 2 is even better than this. And I will review Streets of Rage 2. Lots of improvements over this game. But I do say, like, if you're a youngster and you're getting into retro, you pick up this collection, start off on this Streets of Rage. Do a, like, a Streets of Rage marathon. All right, first boss here. A big dude with a boomerang. Power bars under mine. If you notice, when I was beating up the, um... The weaker enemies, they had no power bars. Streets of Rage 2 improved on that. Only the bosses on here have power bars, but Streets of Rage 2, everyone has a power bar. Um, Graphics-wise, I think Altered Beast and Golden Axe actually look better than this game. So the graphics on this game, they were okay. But... It's more of the total package when it comes to the original Streets of Rage. It's the, it's the overall presentation, I think, that makes this game great. And just, it's fun. Uh, fun, uh, you know. Fun is, uh, a fun game will be fun forever. Now we're, like, in the back alleys. Fun is timeless. Uh, that's the word I was looking for. Timeless. So now I see see that S there. Now I have another uh, I have another backup pepper right there. Through pepper in his face and it freezes him. Yeah, this game is really fun. It's just endless waves of bad guys. Yeah, it's very punishing moves. My favorite Suplex City. Yeah, and when you're one on one, you just want to grab them, knee them a few times, as suplex. You got knives. Oh, see, when they hold you, you can still kick. And that's actually an advantage. Let's let, get some help here just for fun. That's just cool. They took that out of Streets of Rage 2, unfortunately. So I can regroup here. I want the bottle. I want to smash this bottle or someone's head. That's a, that's a cool part. Come on. <laughs> I, I haven't got to smash a bottle out of anyone's head. I, no, I did. I just haven't stabbed anyone yet. Ah, oh, it disappeared. I really want it. That's a cool part. Yeah, very hard game. Tough game. There you go. Now you stab. Look at this. That's great. Extra man right there. Extra life. Yeah, so holidays are coming up. This is the game you want to pick up. This is the game you want to play during those cold winter nights. Good stuff. Alright, so that's Streets of Rage on the Sega Genesis or Xbox 360. If you could get the original in cartridge form, go for it, but if you want to pick it up all at once, Streets of Rage 1 through 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, get this one right here, Sega Genesis, Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection, get all the Streets of Rage that was. so I will, I don't know if I'm going to do all the Streets of Rages this week, but I'll definitely review all of them, because part two's next, yeah, I'll always, I'll always like, have an excuse to play part two and 
what better excuse than to review it? I gotta review it, now I gotta play it. So, Streets of Rage 2, I don't know if I'll do it this week, but definitely I'll, I'll, cover, the, I'll cover 1 through 3. Alright, happy Monday everyone. Start off the week with a great game. Uh, this one's above a 9, 9.1. It's been a while since I reviewed a, a game that scored higher than 9 for me. So here it is one more time. Juggling Clown. Alright everyone, kick ass, be safe, take it easy, have a great week.